this is Rochelle. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on using uh, Pinterest with um, Amazon and Facebook and YouTube. So let's get started. The first place that I want you to go is into your um, internet. doesn't matter whether you're in Google or you're in Yahoo. And I want you to type this in. Create a, a Gmail account. In the, um, in the bar on top, the search bar. Okay. And then we're going to go to uh, create your Google account. Now, remember, a Gmail account is a Google account. Okay. So let's go into there. And you have to put your information. Fill out these uh, these boxes here, and decide on what you want to use as a username for this new account. Um, I'm just going to call it um, Pinterest. And I am going to have to make it bigger because I can't see and um, there we go that's better and um, sorry I'm calling it uh, Pinterest uh, Pinterest marketing tips if it's not taken then I will be able to have it. If not, oops, then I won't. I uh, put my password in here. Confirm my password. And then click next. Just filling in my information here. Whereas um, you should be doing the same right now because it's always good to make a new Gmail account whenever you start something new. Oops, I was not born in 2019. <laughs> Okay, and normally um, the Google will send a little text message with the six digit verification number and, and I'm just gonna get my phone. So hold on for one second while I do that. There we go, I have my phone. I'm doing this uh, tutorial in a different place today. Okay, so have your phone nearby and then uh, click send. One five nine four five eight. One, five, nine, four, five, eight. Okay. Pause the video if you are doing this with me. Okay. I am just going to verify it now. And then it asks you some questions. Get more from your number. 
receive video calls and messages, make Google services, and I always click yes I'm in. You can always change that later on. And then I agree. Now I use RoboForm and um, you can download it for free. You can use it as a, a free trial. You can continue using it. Um, you can also get the paid version if you want, which is RoboForm everywhere. It's up to you. Okay, so this is now my new um, email, a Gmail I just created. And you'll notice in these uh, 12 dots right here, this has everything in here. This is all going to be under this new Gmail ad um, address that I just created. So everything that I do now is now going to be under a new Gmail address. And I can't uh, stress to you how important this is. It's very important, um, especially if if you want to um, get it started right because if you go in and you're using another Google account that you use for something else you could get confused with um, your applications or your passwords okay now the next thing that I want to do is I want to um, go into the Gmail account right now just to show you. Okay, and you'll see the welcome sign. And then you click next. Now I'm not going to go through setting up this whole uh, Gmail account because that's not what this tutorial is about. So we have the Gmail account right now, okay? And I said that we were going to be using uh, three other um, applications. Uh, one is Facebook. So go to your Facebook. And you can decide on any uh, Facebook that you want to use. There could be you could have more than one. Go into create a page. Okay, so you want want to click on this one where it says business or brand get started give your page name what did you name your email you named it sorry email you named it whatever you named your gmail name your page okay so i've named my gmail pinterest Do you ever spell Pinterest wrong? I do. Uh, Pinterest marketing tips. And the category I usually use is just local business because that is the best one to use. Look, where is it? Local service local service. Okay. No, no, that's not it. I want to use one where I don't have to put For now, I think I'm just going to do other. And I think that'll work. Oh, there it is. Local business. That was the one I was looking for. Oops. This always comes up, but it doesn't mean anything. And so does that. It's because I haven't taken the ads off my computer, which I really should have. Okay. Um, you can put in your address. 
your other if you want and then continue okay so I have not entered continue okay there we go so now as it's creating this page Okay, now you can upload a profile picture. Um, I'm just going to upload a very simple picture right now because I'm not going to go right into it. That says upload a cover photo. Um, let me see. There is one that I did. Can't seem to find it right now. I'm just going to upload this for now. Just out of the blue. <laughs> it's something different. But I am going to change it. Okay. Now, there's certain dimensions that you need to, uh, to look at. If you're going to, when you do add a cover, okay. Okay, here's what I usually do. I go to another tab and I go to my Google and I type in, doesn't even show me Google here. I go to my Google and um, I type in a uh, Facebook cover. Size. Okay, and then I look at this information here. Okay, this is uh, this is for the photo, which is 851 pixels wide by uh, 315 pixels tall. And then I look here. it says the same thing so pretty much this is what you're looking at right here it has to be at least 399 pixels wide by 150 pixels tall okay now just quickly going over some information here is this my canva I want to go to a place called Canva. And if you don't have an account on Canva, then please sign up for one. And I'm just taking an example for um, to show you. Use the uh, dimensions that we've seen here, which was um, 851 by 315 851 by 315 okay so now this is going to give me the size that I'm looking in and then I could choose a 
out uh, something that I wanted to use. Um, I like this one. So basically, I want to to put something here and something here, or I could choose this one and I could make it addition to uh, what I wanted to put in here. So just going to search. All of my elements here. I'm going to look at my uploads and see what do I have that I might be interested in putting on here, which is not nothing. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't want to take your time. I'm just going to go look in the backgrounds and make something simply for my background. And I always like to use like a kind of like a blue. Just click in there and click on the background you want. And then this should change your background to what you want it to be okay so this is what I want I want it to be blue okay I'm going back into the elements um, just gonna look in here I'm gonna see if there's they have anything quickly to do with I'm gonna choose something that's free. Reminds me of something that I've made before. Anyways, I'm gonna put the Pinterest in there and the uh, Facebook. Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. And Amazon. Now this is just to begin. I don't want to take your time. Um, if you haven't signed up for Canva, go to Canva. It's free. Okay, so looks like I'm gonna do my own Amazon or upload something from Amazon or just put the word Amazon in. I'm gonna actually have a look at my designs. Right now I just wanna search. I'm having a look at my file. It's the right one. I'm going to my search. My uploads. That's what I uploaded, but I do want to have a look at all of my designs. Because there is something in here that I made from before that I like, that I can just change. Like something like this. Okay, as you can see, these dimensions are too big. So I would not be able to use that. It would take too long to let me do that.
No, I'm just gonna go back here. Okay. Um, just gonna move these around a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into the text. I'm gonna add a heading. My heading is, of course, what I use for my uh, Gmail, which is um, this out of here. Move this up here. Okay, and I'm just going to use um, go back into the elements. And look at shapes. Actually, I should have been more prepared. I'm going to go to my uploads. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so I'm just going to download this to my computer and download it as a PNG that's recommended. Okay, and this is just a short, this is just giving you a little of it on that making the Facebook cover. That should be it's now. It's, it's opening it. That's not what I wanted it to do. Okay. So I'm going back and do my Facebook um, where I have changing the cover. Choose from my photos. Sorry, not my photos. But you upload a photo. Upload. And then go into, I think, my um, quick access. The last one that I... Where is my photo that I wanted to upload now? There it is, you see the image, 851 by 315. You'll see it in that box right there. Just gonna click that and, and open it up. Okay, so as you can see here, the background didn't show up, so that's that's not good, but just going back into it. Let's just save that for now. Okay, so I started with uh, my Facebook. So now I have my Facebook. I'm going to uh, just close my Canva for now. Okay. Uh, this Second thing, place that I want you to go is um, Amazon. If you don't have an Amazon account, 
go to uh, Amazon, just type it in. Amazon.ca. Just taking a bit to get there. Okay. Um, I'm going to sign out of my account just to uh, show you. Or actually, if you want to, um, to, I guess it's Amazon Associates. Okay, so this page right here is where you go. The Associates, uh, the HPP Associates.Amazon.ca and you'll click into here, which is join for free. Okay, since I'm already in here, I am not going to go through that because it will get confused. But what you're going to do is sign in. Well, mine is sign in, um, but yours will be to create the account. And you're going to create the account using the email here that you created so that everything matches up. So this account will be created with this email that you created. Okay? Pardon me. This email that uh, you created. I clicked on the wrong email. Okay? So then once you're signed up to Amazon, One more step. This is going to be um, a two part tutorial. Now I have to log back in because I just went out and I'm going to sign in and hopefully it has saved my password. What knows? Oops, I just signed into my associates. I don't want to do that. Okay, so go, going forward here, I'm going to just type in my Amazon again. Okay, so it's like now. You could see that right here. And um, I'm also a Prime, a Prime member as well. And it's well worth the money. Okay, um, so the next the next place you're going to go is to these dots right on the left-hand corner. And click in there. Click into your dots. Now hopefully you are going to see this in here. Okay, this is your iGoogle. You click into your iGoogle. A child Google portal, and most people don't realize that it's there. But this you can um, customize for your um, calendar for setting appointments. You can see all of the Google links that that you can get to very easy. And you can set up for your uh, weather forecast. And also there's CNN if you want to, to use it there or if you want to put something else there. But for our purposes today, I want to go using my, um, my iGoogle portal into my YouTube.
Okay. Now, as you can see, it's taken me into a YouTube, but this is under this right here. What I want to do, it's up to you. You can use the same YouTube channel if you want, or this is what I would do. I am going to add an account. So now, now the uh, Google that I just made in here, which is right there. Okay, now you will see that my actual account will appear there, but this will be my new account. Now I have, have no tutorials or videos on here yet. So if I click into here, I believe what it's going to do is um, the new st uh, YouTube Studio Beta right now is in use, and it's um, phasing out the, the uh, Creator Studio. And the new tube uh, studio beta is the one that's going to be um, being used. Okay. So, what do I want to use YouTube as? Michelle Hayes. Or. Actually, <clears throat> it is going to be created under my name, so I'm just going to create the channel. I'm waiting for that. And it does have Creator Studio there, but I'm just going to go to the settings. See how it has my name here Pinterest Marketing Tips at gmail.com is. Okay. Now, to simply create a channel, and actually, I'm going to edit that for a second because I don't want this to be. I really don't want this to be my name. Okay. I already have a channel. Anyways, going forward, I'm just gonna pick a picture. Not that much. 
silly. It's a silly picture. Um, that picture. Okay. So I'll take a picture. So that picture is now going to um, come up and I will look into actually uh, changing the name of this channel because I put it under the wrong, I put it under the wrong thing and I'm sorry that I've misled you about that. You can make it um, anything that you want. You don't have to put it under your name. Okay, so now getting back into the channel, go to my Creator Studio. And I'm not sure, but I think Creator Studio is going to take you into um, the Studio Beta, and it does. It, and it will tell you to upload a video. And I don't have the video made yet. This is going to be in the second tutorial that I'm going to go through. So now in creating this channel, so now we've got the, the three things done that I need to have done, which is the Gmail, the Facebook, uh, the, the um, Amazon account and now the YouTube okay so now I would like you to go back I would like you now to go into your um, go to Pinterest now either you have a Pinterest account or you want to uh, make a Pinterest account it's up to you I already have a Pinterest account, so I am only going to make another board. Okay, so this is my Pinterest account here. Okay. But there's a couple things I wanted to show you that are important. Um, when you go to your Pinterest account, and you look at your profile over on the left hand side click, click profile okay this is going to come up this is actually your um, analytics I'm sorry Gone to the wrong place. Let me just go back for a second. When you first start your uh, address. You see this little one right here? This little uh, pencil? Click on that. Okay. So you can pick uh, pins to feature in your profile cover. So this is what I've done. I've created um, an Amazon DIY. And I've also created a Pinterest for business. So. So it will bring up the um, the pins that you want featured. But that isn't what I wanted to show you. I did want to show you that, but there's something else as well. So 
Sorry. I want to be able to actually go into my my profile here. Okay, so I guess it's in settings. Okay, so you, you go to settings. It's been a while since I've been here in Pinterest. You would put your new email address in here, the one that you created, which is located on the, on, it should be open on the top of your screen, right there. You put your email address in there, Gmail, okay? You say, you know, what type you want, I've got it as a brand, your contact name, and your business name, And um, whether you want to uh, use your, the picture that you have or upload another picture. Username. A little bit about yourself. Your location. And also, your if you have a website, if you want to claim it, then what you do is you just put it in here and you click claim if you have an Instagram and you want to claim it you do the same thing and now your YouTube channel now you can't do that if you just created a new YouTube it needs to uh, it needs more um, more work to be done before you can claim it where you want your notifications, um, and, and also social networks, like for instance, Facebook. You can also connect to your Google Plus. And then save the settings. Okay, so now we have We're going to have only one, two, three, and this one should actually be um, Amazon. Okay, so you should have one, one, two, three, four, five tabs open. Because so you could just click into each one. This is your uh, Gmail. This is your Facebook. This is your uh, YouTube. This is your Amazon. And this is your Pinterest. Okay, now when you click into your tabs at the top here, don't use this arrow. If you use the arrow, you will lose where you're at and probably get lost. And I know that I've done it. So whenever you just want to go into here, just click on these like that. Each one, just click on it. Okay, so after you save your settings, then what you want to do is you want to actually go to your Pinterest. Okay. All right. So now let's begin. What are we going to do? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is go to our Amazon account. Okay. And it's up to you uh, or what you want to put on your Pinterest, on Facebook. 
but for me, um, I am going to go into the deals. Today's deals. And then choose what you want. I like this. I'm going to choose this. Okay. Now, you can see that there's different things here. There are these. Right here. I mean, you can share. And we can just. Uh, what I have not done is opened a Twitter. But let's start with Facebook. And where do I want it? I want it on a page that I manage. And this page is called Pinterest Marketing Tips. Okay, and I'm going to post this to Facebook. Now I posted it to Facebook. Now I'm going to post it to Pinterest. I have to wait for the picture to come up. And this wheel here to spray. Right? So, this here, you're going to create, I'm going to create a new board in which I'm going to call it um, Amazon Deal of the Day. You can call it anything that you, that you want. Um, I would, but I would definitely call it something that um, it's going to be relevant. I, I could call it um, a Pinterest marketing tips, but basically this is not giving any tips right there. So I'm just going to create this board, okay, and I'm going to see it, okay, so this is the pin that I created. I have to wait for this wheel to stop turning because I do have a number of applications opened. It is slow, or you can't do one application at a time. Okay. No. I'm going to edit this pin. Now you see here, this is the website, this is where it says, so let's copy it and see where it goes. Ok, 
Okay, so this is exactly where it goes. But I do want to show you this up here where it says text. Just click on that. This is going to give me the text. If I click on the image in text, it's also, or it's going to give me the image. And I can also make it larger if I wanted to. Okay, and this is if you want to put it into this is your um, HTML language. If you want to put it actually into uh, uh, WordPress or a website, you would use that. Okay, and then text and image. This is going to show me this, and this is also the info. This here is this right here. Okay, and this is for another tutorial, but for now, we're just going to use this one. See this right here? We're going to copy it because why? Because it's smaller and it's cleaner. So that we're just going to click that in there, and then we're going to click save. Okay, now wait a minute. I just noticed something here that wasn't um, completely right. This. Take that out. I'm going to go back here on Amazon and find out what happened. I, I want to take this information right here. Oops. Copy it, go back into here, and then put it back in here. So that gives you more information. Save it, and then I, I will show you what the pin looks like. Getting back into into here. Now, there's different ways that you can have a look at your pins. You could go from your uh, latest pins to your featured boards. Um, but basically, to go into my boards. And it's taking me into the viewport. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go into my boards. Now, as you can see, that I have it up here. I should only have one pin. But it's made me two, so I'm going to take one away while I was doing this, showing you on the tutorial, I accidentally made two. So, let me just have a look here. It's a copy of the same one. Okay, so, I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to delete this one that I made accidentally, and I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now if I was to press in here, this should take me to my, my M1.
Okay. So this is the first step. Now I'm going back to Facebook. I should have something now that shows me So, there it is right there. There is your Facebook. Your Facebook's been created. You, you need to take time and do your Facebook cover or do a video. And I could take some more time or um, you'll just have to uh, look at another one of my tutorials, which I should find about making a Facebook cover. I should put it, I'll put it into the um i'll put it into the links at the bottom of this video okay so this is the, the uh, second step in doing that so now we've used um we've made a gmail we've made a youtube and now, now we're doing um an amazon okay Next step is to, if you don't have your own videos, let's go into something. Um, it all depends on, on what you're going to have on your YouTube channel. I am just going to go into uh, making money on Pinterest. Okay, so making money on Pinterest. Okay, I'm going to go into um, my other YouTube and into one of my videos. Although I can't really download one of my videos, I guess I could. To show you because it's in another account, and I'm going to look for. Um, I know I have a playlist. Hi, this is Rochelle, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm a teacher and a blogger, and I post every Wednesday. Okay. I'm always keeping up with the trends, yeah, and I'm always so... giving away some secrets, tips, and tricks to help you to uh, not only create your first WordPress site on the internet, um, to be able to maintain an online presence. So, please like and subscribe. Change this. And also leave me a comment down below because it's really important to me that I'm able to go and um, look at your YouTube channel and okay, like so and subscribe I'm to help you right as here. well so we can both grow together. Okay, so happy New Year's and have a great Let's 2019. One right here. Bye for now. Take this information right now, right on the top right there. Copy it. Okay. So go go into, we should already um, have right. our off. Go into a place that's cut. It's called the uh, YouTube. Uh, sorry, YouTube Converter. Okay, and YouTube Converter and Downloader. Because everything that I do is Creative Commons. I'm going to show you here in a second. Just going to paste that. Okay, it looks like I'll be able to, to do this all in one video. Although this video will be going outside. Right, uh, and I'm going to now do this. Let's 
show in the folder. I would like to actually send this to my desktop. Okay. Now, this is I've done this. Okay. If you're searching for something, if you don't have a video of your own, and choose of an of the that's available to you. Let's just look at this. Um that's not what I wanted to do. Hi, this is Rochelle, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm a teacher and a blogger, and I post every Wednesday. I'm always keeping up with the trends, and I'm always giving away some secrets, tips, and tricks to help you to uh, not only create your... Okay, so now I'm getting back. Going back to um, here. We want to go into the Creative Commons right here. This filter with these arrows right there. Go to here. Click arrows. Click over here to Creative Commons. Okay, so. These are videos that you can download. Videos that you can download and use. Okay, let's choose. You can even choose this one. This is mine here. You can choose this one if you wanted to, or or you could choose this if you wanted to, or this one if you wanted to. But any one that you choose, will, you will be doing the exact same thing. You'll click into it, get the information from the top here, copy it, and um, basically you just. And I did do one earlier yeah, over here, here I am, saying yeah. whatever you wanted to say. Over to um, this spot where it says here the mine says like you um, want Christmas, but you can say anything online. And you're order. also going to put a photo up here, whether it's yourself or And actually yourself. this is what you would type in. YouTube online Christmas. So. And like I said, we're just doing this on quickly because we don't before just type um, that in and you'll see it. You'll see over. a little. Um, okay. So on the Facebook, can go over to the, on the, the uh, Amazon. You'll be looking at. You would then take link, paste it the in here. Amazon.com. Make sure your format and, is in um, for you. Already and already have an account with the Amazon Associates, then log in. If Okay. If you don't have an account, then um, you're going to go to uh, join. Okay. And then download. Click download. And then download into your computer. Okay. So now you have it. It's yours. You go back to your channel. Whoop. 
whoops, where it says upload the video, you could click there or you could click here. It doesn't matter. But the first place you want to go really is into your settings. So, Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Our country. I want to add a couple of uh, channel keywords. Let's say, uh, well, mine is Pinterest. Comma. Space, space. Spelt it wrong. comma, space, space, um, comma, space, space, I don't know why that's still coming up as wrong. I can't see that well. Spelling, okay. Um, comma, space, space. Okay. I've now put in three channel keywords. Allow my channel to appear in channel recommendations. Yes. Display the number of people subscribed to my channel. Yes. Or do not display the number subscribed to my channel. Okay, and Google Analytics uh, property tracking ID, which we haven't done yet. Okay, so we're going to save that information right now. Okay, now getting back to the channel, into the Creator Studio. You can also add a widget here, add your videos, which is already added. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, um, you can add everything is added, so don't need to worry about that. Okay, so our next step will be uploading our video. So we're going to upload the video. Now it's up to you whether you want to use public, I use private. Upload video. I save my name in the desktop. Somehow it just it didn't completely, it didn't, um, I don't believe that it, it uh, uploaded properly. Okay. 
just check and see. No, I don't think it's. I'm, go I'm going to have to um, find it out where it is again. And put it. Okay, so it's in my downloads. I want to. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to now uh, continue with tutorial two. Okay, I am stopping here, and you can now have a rest. There is going to be a tutorial two in which I'm going to upload it and um, give it a title, description, and keywords. So please like and subscribe. And, and um, I hope this helped you. Okay, so have yourself a great uh, evening. Bye now.